Hello students, this is Mrs. Gearhart and I'm going to show you how to do your elements and principles sketchbook spread. The first step is to draw all the lines to create your boxes. Now when you make your boxes you're going to have a total of about 8 to 16 depending on the options that I give you for this project. Some quarters may only do 8, some may do 16 depending if we're remote or face to face. So you'll need to take a ruler or a flat piece of paper and you'll need to split up all of your pages into four by four. Now, if you're someone that can draw very, very small, you might even do this across a single spread rather than two spreads. Now, if you're using the Autodesk Sketchbook app, you can import the templates shown here from Schoology. So there's how you can set up your grid. Now, when you go to label your grid, you want to label these boxes for the elements and principles. So these boxes are going to be line, color, shape, form, value, texture, space, and type. Now for the principles, you have balance, emphasis, proportion, pattern, contrast, alignment, movement, and unity. So once you have all your boxes labeled, then it's just a matter of drawing your pictures inside of them. So remember, your picture is your symbol that is either an animal, object, a figure, a logo, or a letter, or anything else that you really want. So what you'll need to do is draw your symbol, something simple as a silhouette, meaning it's just an outline, very lightly across all of the pages. So I'm going to just draw a very simple owl that's sitting on a branch. And then I would repeat this all over each one. Then I will need to transform these to look like the specific concept of the element or principle. This is an example of a book. So for line, I have a variety of lines behind the book. For color, I would have these turn into different colors on the color wheel. For texture, I tried drawing the book with a lot of different texture. Value, I showed the difference between light to dark in the book. For shape, I drew all the different shapes of a book. For form, I created the book to look more 3D by trying to draw it as realistically as possible. For space, I drew the book getting smaller as it moved back in space on the table. And then for type, I put the letters book of the word right inside of the silhouette. Now to see a sample that's more finished, this is the colored version of one. So you can see for line, I have it fully colored with all of the variety of lines in the background. You can have it be different lines or it can be radiating from your shape. Color, I turn this into the color wheel. Remember, you can also change this to look like a specific color scheme, like warm versus cool colors or complementary colors are opposites on the color wheel, like red and green, analogous colors are that are close to each other on the color wheel, like red, red, orange, and orange. Space, I have my symbol moving back further in space. Notice as it turns more blue as it gets further back, and it gets a little bit more blurry because that shows atmospheric perspective. Value, I showed the lights and the darks. Shape, I added different shapes all around my symbol. For form, I made my symbol of the gear heart look more three-dimensional by adding shading to one side, and I drew forms behind it of a cube, a sphere, a pyramid, and a prism. For texture, I made it look really metallic with my colors and the lines that I added. And then for gear heart, I have my name inside of the letter. For all of the principles, symmetry is a kind of balance. Symmetry is whenever it's the same on both sides, or it can be asymmetrical, where it's different on both sides, or radial means that it makes a circle. Emphasis is something that's more dominant compared to the rest of the picture plane. Alignment is trying to align your picture within a certain kind of landscape. Contrast is strong, stark differences. So you can see the blue versus the white and then the dark versus the light on my symbol. 
Proportion is a comparison of big versus small. Pattern is repeating your symbol multiple times. Movement and rhythm is trying to show the illusion of something moving. So you can use lines around it to make it look like it's moving or have these overlapping each other with different colors. Unity is trying to make an artwork look whole or complete, giving it a sense of oneness where it makes sense all together. Now these other pictures that I'm showing you are examples that students had created during last quarter. So you do not want to directly copy these, but you can use them as inspiration for your own project. As you're looking at these student samples, you might notice that they transformed their symbol to accurately represent each of the concepts for the elements and principles. So they were transforming their images of say the ramen noodles, the lemon, the pumpkin, the butterfly, the hammer, the pencil and paintbrush, the smiley face, to look like line, color, shape, form, etc. Proportion, pattern, unity, emphasis, and so on. These samples show both versions of the project done by hand with color pencils and paper, or the project done digitally working in the Autodesk Sketchbook app. You get to choose which option you prefer. Have any questions? Ask your teacher for some help. Have fun, everyone.